Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,315. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1314, we saw a formula to create a sorted, unique list. Well, that formula was pretty complicated and difficult. And if you have Power Query, there's a much easier way to create a unique sorted list. Now, Power Query, if you have Excel 2010 or 13, you need to download it. If you have Excel 2016 like I do, you go to Data, and it is the Get and Transform group. Now, in order to use Power Query, we have to take our data set and convert it to an Excel table first. Then we open up Power Query and click a few buttons, and instantly we'll have a sorted, unique list. All right, so step one, we have our table sales and account. I'm going to click in a single cell, and we have to convert it to an Excel table. So I go up to Insert and Table, or I can use the keyboard Control-T. It got the right data set. My table has headers. Click OK. Now we want to name this table. We go up to Table Tools, Design, and over to Properties and click there. Or we can use the keyboard Alt-J-T-A. And I'm going to name this. Sales table and Enter. Now, with a single cell selected in my table, now we can go up to Data, Get and Transform, which is now what they call Power Query in 2016. And there it is, From Table. Here's our Editor window. We come over here. There's the name of the table that we imported. I actually want to give this a name, because this will be the name of the query if we have to come back and edit it later. It'll also be the name of the table which Power Query exports into the Excel sheet. So I'm going to call it Sorted Unique Account List and Enter. All right, so we have our two columns here. We don't want this first column, so I simply come to the field name at the top, right click, Remove. Now with this column selected, I can come up to Home, Reduce Rows, and there it is, Remove Duplicates. So I click that. Now I have a null and an empty cell here, and I would like to remove those. So I simply use the filter dropdown, uncheck null, uncheck blank, click OK. Last step, with this column selected, we go up to sort A to Z. And look at that. Now we can come up to close and load two. I definitely want to load it as a table to this existing sheet. I click the Collapse button. I'm going to select cell E7 and click OK. Now I can come down here and click Load. And just like that, over here I have my query. I can close this window. If I ever need to open that back up, I can come up to Data, Show Queries. But there is our table, sorted and unique list. Now let's test this. Let's come over, and I'm going to add a new record to the bottom, a new customer, which should show up in our sorted list. I'm going to click in the last cell in the last record in the table and hit Tab, 458 Tab. And this will be to GG Shop. Now when I hit Control-Enter, notice I changed some data and the sorted unique list did not instantly update. That actually is the reason that we sometimes do these crazy complicated formulas, because formulas automatically update as soon as the data changes. But it's no problem. It's easy enough. We come over to the table, right click, refresh. And just like that, our sorted unique list updates with GG Shop. All right, we'll see you next trick.